start off the year with a book called Thief and the Dog, which is about a man named Saeed who just got out of prison. When he left prison, his like his everything was totally different. Egypt was changed beyond like recognition almost, and he just didn't know what to do. And he was betrayed by his best friend and his wife, who ended up being together. And he was so hurt by this and the fact that his daughter rejected him that he wanted to take revenge in his own actions. We chose to do like sort of a, a play skit type of thing. They've come to judge my actions, all these strangers who I don't even know. Where's Ralph? I'd like him to see my true form. So Ralph, what is your relation to Simon? I raised him as a child, yet despite my good teachings, he became a criminal. He should be put to death because he was given a chance to rehabilitate himself and he chose violence instead. First let's do a run through, then I'm gonna move your position, okay? Our theme is freedom is precious. They wanted to steal our voice. They wanted us to speak their speech. If, if not, not, fight, fight to, to get, get it. it. As a female, I struggle every day. We kind of got involved about um, making poems with NYU, with either experience, like from life experience. Or a theme, a theme from the book. It's about a theme that I write a poem every day to us. In this poem, I'm actually very proud of because we dig deep in how people feel when people are judged. It was better without me. All the great memories and I ruined it. Mom and Dad, don't yell or scream. Everything's gonna be just fine. It's different than a regular class because it like gives us chances to like improve our skills and be able to give us like a way to write differently and, and a way to present what we wrote. We were inspired by the novel The Thief and the Dogs and our theme is how to be a man in society. For myself, but most, most importantly, my mom. mom. She needs me. I gotta be there for her. And our poem basically explains that I didn't have a father um, when I was growing up. So it's just like, you know, I gotta learn on my own. I gotta do this for myself and my mom. Good morning and welcome to the Great World's Text Program. I remember very well uh, traveling to many parts of the world through studying great literature with the Gallatin mentors, the high school students and the teachers, and this year to Cairo, Egypt. In reading stories and observing and feeling for the characters, we get to take risks and make mistakes and harvest those lessons while spared from the real life consequences. We are so excited to see in your projects what the story meant to you and the new lives that the book has taken on in your imaginations. Thank you for being here. Our kids are gonna be presenting um, a mock trial of what happens to Saeed. I can speak for us both when uh, yeah. I say that we've grown really close to all of the students and we really love you guys, so thanks for working with us. <laughs> I have no chance to change my fate, to start over. The trial's soon. Those dogs will never get away. When I see them, I'll come down them like nightfall. A week after Saeed Moran's arrest, his trial begins. <clears throat> Case number 124. The people against Saeed Moran on two accounts of first degree murder, assault, and the second degree and gratifado. How does the defendant plea? Not guilty. No. Yes. But he is a psychopath, a monster, a killer. No, don't say that. You don't know him. I call Raouf to the stand. This man is a traitor, a dog, a thief, and a... Silence! The jury deliberates. Saeed has no right to even think about killing someone in general because of everyone's betrayal. I agree, but also disagree with you. Saeed was in jail for four years, not allowing him to think critically about what happened. Saeed is declared... We worked with the Bronx Academy of Letters. A few people worked on each chapter. We're really yeah. happy to see what you guys do. Okay. All right. Good luck. I have seen white for years, what is left? The love I lost, the wisdom I gained, the peace that was gone, the relationships that were lost. As her tears glimmer in her eyes and her heart skips four beats for each year I was gone, I will pick her up and give her a big squeeze. Our hearts can't fuse, it's impossible, perhaps in another life. Your betrayal shall be the death of you. As I run away, I know that this is my life now. I committed murder and there is no turning back. And I will not stop until I am avenged. The worry over her absence, my heart breaks. Every minute, every second, could you be gone? Have you abandoned me? You said you loved me. Nevertheless, the worry had driven me insane. Finally, my body has caught up with my mentality. Suddenly, the blinding light went out. <laughs> we created partner poems and basically strung them together based on each pair's variation of the themes from the novel. And we really wanted to stress that um, 
Daryl and I didn't have to do very much because our students were really great. You could stand up for Marta Valle. Yes. Break these chains that hold me back. Open the gates that release me back. Finally, after four years, I'm free. But my mind is not onto one thing. Revenge. If you are free, feel it. If not, fight to get it. They don't know my race. They don't know my past. They don't, they don't know, know my goddamn name. name. So why judge? You're a girl, so act like one. When was society let us be free? We live in a world where being female is harder than being male. I'm a girl and I deserve the same equality as a guy. Do I have anything to prove? My father never was. He ain't a man, he's a coward. He was man enough to make me, but not man enough to take care of me. That ain't no man to me. Mom and dad don't yell or scream, everything's gonna be just fine. But maybe it's for the best because mom can find someone better. But you took your dark past of anger and you laid it onto my head like an unwanted crown. And I screamed to you. Until this day, I will believe that there is a reason for everything. Except for why you just couldn't listen. listen. It's what to say that you were all amazing. We are proud of you here at NYU. Your mentors are really proud of you. And your teachers are really proud of you.